if you if you bring Krispy Kreme into the stream, you will be banned. <laughs> I know what that means. I've been grunted at. I can grunt back. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you saw that game yesterday? <laughs> I can do that. Oh yeah, let's talk about the disrespect. They forget my food and they give Mango the food first. How about that? How about that? Don't let people treat you like that. You better cuss them out. You better cuss them out. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I made it here by the skin of my teeth. I have made it. No, no. If you get, if you, if you bring Krispy Kreme into the stream, you will be banned. You got the donuts? What kind of donuts you got, Hyrule? I just want you to think about your answer very, very carefully. Okay? Just think about it. Think about it real careful because if it's the wrong donut, we may have a problem. Oh yeah, let's talk about the disrespect. Women like full sentences. Men need someone we can just grunt at and they know what that means. <laughs> I know what that means. I've been grunted at. I can grunt back. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you saw that game yesterday? <laughs> I can do that. I can do the grunting. But the disrespect. So I don't expect my father to open up to me emotionally. I don't expect him to do anything but provide good fatherly advice and be a father and, and you know, take care of himself. That is all I expect my father to do. And of course, it, should, it, it shouldn't have to be said, love me. You know, his daughter. He should love me. So the disrespect comes in is when I go and I visit them and he goes and he hugs Mango first. You see the problem, right? You see the problem. There's already a problem here. Jealous. So, so, sure, we could let that slide. We could let Mango getting the first hug slide when I visit, all right? We can let the first hug slide. How about, how about, how about when he goes and he buys everybody food, they forget my food and they give Mango the food first. How about that? How about that? They, I didn't even have a meal everybody else was eating. They gave Mango food. And then they looked at me and they said, oh, are you hungry? And then they cut me off half of a slider half of a slider do you hear me do no you don't eat more i eat more than you ever i eat i could eat until the cows get home so that's what i mean about the disrespect okay no i'm not jealous they're doing it on purpose they are literally li literally hey oh Diaz, literally leaving me in the dirt for mango, for mango, get. <sighs> shell. <sighs> Cause it's real shell. These are real tears. Usually they're so fake, but oh my God, it's fine. So it's that, those are the signs. If you wanna know if your in-laws are replacing you, that is the first sign when they start feeding them first. My dad likes to try to get mango alone. He's like, oh mango, let's go, let's go for a ride. Dad, oh. take care of the baby. Mitch, you give me a hand. Oh, that's dad. So you have a daughter? We have to warm her up. Start the fire. It's cold in here. Will you light it up, boy? Hold on, let me make sure it's loud enough. There we go. All right, let's go light up the fire. Our mom passed out under a tree in a storm. So now we're trying to save her. Thanks so much for the help. You and your daughter. Melanie is my son's wife. Oh. <gasps> My dad's wife? Well, yeah. Oh, wait. Didn't she hear us? Yo, we about to drive to see this man? We could have waited. We, we stole the car. We stealing the car, bro. Oh, y'all, I really got to drive. Oh! Oh my God, they didn't turn the controls backwards. I'm going to crash this car. They got me driving. This is accurate. I actually kind of pulled in like with urgency. It was real dramatic like. So he playing at the blue barn? What happened? Stop cutting in, kid. There's no room. Are you serious? All that talk about being a big time star and you playing at the blue barn? I saw my dad for the first time. Yeah, he doing it for his moms. Mob, I'm just trying to live at this point, you know. I want to make sure my heart be pumping at a good speed and I can lift stuff at least. Just be useful when the apocalypse comes through. So that's our dad on the stage 
and a wife beater playing his uh is this a horn what horn is this you have to help my mom sir you're interrupting boy where your parent you have to come with me or she's gonna die you want me to kick that kid out <laughs> Alange, you right. wait andy chill out kid what's up i'm louise connor's son lou and your son sir now what do you know this girl did he not say nothing about is me it her oh her please say something to her sir play her something you wrote for her mom woke up and lived a few more days she was strangely calm yikes oh <gasps> did we finish this then she was gone it's ended too fast for me it was the best month of my life but also her last We'd been together like never before, and I think she loved it too. Oh my god. I did, Ashley. Mom really tried hard, and everything we went through influenced who I've become. Can I be successful though? My mother once told me, don't let the world change you. You've got to change the world. I'm trying to improve things all over the world, but sometimes I feel like we can only make it worse. But I'm still trying. Look at I my also baby. Have a son. The best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm trying to show him everything that's good about life. And I hope I won't run out of time. I'm just now beginning to understand what my mother felt when she found out about her illness. I understand how much she lost. My mom loved me. She did her best for me. She won some, she lost more. But one thing she managed for sure the best month of our lives oh my god y'all it was just one click <laughs> i could have finished this game weeks ago <laughs> if you've watched me play vampire the masquerade uh bloodlines then you're familiar with vampire the masquerade otherwise it's an rpg game a lot of fun lots of vampires it's gotten quite a few mixed reviews so i'm really curious if anything has happened over there i'll hold you Yo, look at her hands is court attendance usually this <laughs> Y'all, if you know me, you saw what I saw, okay? If you know me, you saw what I saw. I hope you saw it. Some of these peeps have weird fashion. Yo, look at this lady walking in the red dress. Why is she walking like that, y'all? A kink is born. It's so detailed. Like, remember in the first bloodlines, you just hopped on and you just you just ate them in the alley. Like it was really like dirty. It was really, you know, grimy, gruesome. But yeah, in this one it's so fancy. We got private rooms. We're not in the back alley up like behind some like strip club. No, we're like in a private room. And they like lay themselves down and they surrender. We ain't gotta fight nobody. <laughs> Oh, so I can track stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Where did you go, Jay? I'm gonna track her down next game. Okay, guys. Y'all be good, make good choices, and have a great night. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.